define as a you know, home, home address. Well, then I'll want to drive for you. That will be taken as far as we can, I own the boat, and I know that, but okay. Now the one, the tissue sampling, please, can I take your drone or I'll buy a home? And treat it with 50% phosphoric acid. The sulfur, fine, no wise, did from not, and I'm going to indicate you for right to the report and get to the floor. Well, we don't know how much it is going to be. That was very good. Given the scent. So they're doing this for Paul Dando, who could not be along the sediment chemistry. He would, he would have done it all. So, <laughs> it sounds very complicated, but. Yeah. <laughs> more roughing it. <laughs> uh, and let's see, Colleen and I were graduate students way back in the old days together. Uh, when with we were 16. The, <laughs> we were youngsters, uh, with the same advisor. Was he your full advisor or just kind of half advisor? He was nominally half, but yeah. since I only saw Jim McCarthy twice in my whole graduate career, right. Ken was more it. Right. This is Ken's uh, let's see, and my assignment on this cruise, among other things, is to take a bunch of video of everybody to make a historical record of this cruise. Make a pop for no movie. <laughs> <laughs> He's also the one that arranged all of the beach yeah, yeah. arrangements yeah. today. Taxi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, my can, can we get one here? Uh, I, also, I also should say I'm probably the least informed on all these creatures and things like this, so pardon my uninformed questions as we go along, but I won't hesitate to ask dumb questions. But he knew they were kid Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Other subjects. <laughs> I'm Dana, and I'm Colin's other graduate student. <laughs> um, and I'll be working on um, the question of how the symbiosis of these fossils is established and maintained over the life cycle of these animals. Um, and I'm interested in uh, sampling the, the gonad tissue of the animals of the life. So I too would be doing freezing <laughs> alongside of Dan. And um, also, I'm very interested in having a look at the um, Stoloniferous corals, the soft corals that live on the tubes of the tube. Hey, I'm Rick Gustafson from Rutgers University, Zoo, Jer Zoo Jersey. <laughs> 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 and uh, 
my main interest being here is to is to keep a watch out for the rare mussel species from this site. And Ruth and I are working on the systematics of, of the mussels in the Gulf of Mexico, the sea mussels. And um, there's one s one species here that's very common, and there's another one that holds about about three specimens out of about 500 collected. So um, I'd like to take a look at mussels before they get. Ruth and I would like to take a look at them before they get carved up. So if we see one, <laughs> we, can, we can take it apart and delegate tissues to everyone. Because no one's ever done any physiology or looked at the gill symbionts or anything in this species. So. Is, it, is it, how different is it from um, yours? Uh, well, the front ends. Two well, pictures? Is, I didn't, yeah. I didn't yeah, get he, the right he, pictures. I mean, I, they're in my room, but I didn't. Oh, so no, he does have the pictures of them now. Got it. Fold. And we we'll, the minute we see him, we'll set them up. Wanted. Out. You need wanted posters. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've got some spare ones. I'll just pin them up yeah. on the wall. Yeah. And so this is the one we want. Yeah. yeah. But all muscles, we more or less want. I mean, the idea that, what would you say we got about? Well, I mean, shells. I mean, maybe we have. 500, maybe. We maybe have. I mean, if you're talking about every dive we've ever done, I mean, with the two dives that Mitch had here in 1990. Mm. We, we probably got about 150 mussels on each dive. Yeah, but that's still when you when you're trying to discard new species, not an over amount. And there's always a selection for the large because ones. Because there we, we have two duties. Yeah. Well, we're going to try that. Yeah. Yeah. To to we have two duties besides wanting a big series to describe something so that we can describe variation and really do a good solid job. It's uh, a duty of all systematists to disperse their material in the form of type specimens to things, other institutions like the National Museum and the British Museum and so on and so forth, so that other people know exactly what we have. So don't think that, oh, well, they've already got a hundred specimens. They don't need any more. A good specimen should never be thrown away. I mean, a lot of those are, you know, in really bad shape. Yeah. But let us throw them away. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably, after this, we can, different subgroups can meet about the methods. Mm -hmm. um, so, Rick, you'll also maybe be helping with the of chemistry. And um, the other thing I put Rick in charge of was getting the seawater in the freezers at the right time. Mm. And the undergraduates will help collect the seawater. It'll just be with buckets and rope, throwing it over. Or no, well, oh, no, we don't even a, need to do that. No, there's uh -huh. seawater. I forgot, there's seawater, I'm sorry. So it'll just be filling the five gallon <coughs> buckets. So 10, 15 minute job yeah, to 10, do it. Minutes, but and I, if we do it the day of the dive, right, you know, right after the sub goes down, um, then we can put the water into the minus 20 freezer. Is that a good enough time? That's good, that's good. Right after the sub goes down that early? Well, it's minus 20, you don't want to block ice by the time. No, 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 I was thinking you would do it more like noon. No, right after the sub is, huh. is about right. Because you're going to fill that up, you're not putting one bucket in and it's, you've got bulk water in there, it's going to well, take we longer. It, no, we're, we're going to put in the whole bucket, we'll go in, it'll be, right. maybe get about six, six buckets in there at the time. Yeah, that's okay. what I say, it's not just one bucket in there, yeah, there's going to be really, six of them and it takes a lot What we have done in the past is we have then taken those buckets of water down, down on the deck when the sub comes up and, and have these big coolers, we can pour the water in the coolers. And take the coolers out you, to the front of it. Um, yeah, we have we have one in the hold we should dig out. Okay. And we have so another, another red one too. Yeah, yeah, we have. So there should be three pump. coolers on board. There's a big styrofoam cooler down there. Because it's best then to get the mussels right out of the coffin into the coolers, and then right. and then we can just when we need a mussel, we bring right. it out of the cooler, and so the other ones stay cold. And my name's Steve Carl. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps asking himself that. <laughs> um, I'm a postdoc at Rutgers, and mostly I'm here for the same reasons as Rick, and make sure that he stays alert. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be able to identify your muscles, Steve? No, not at all. Okay. Not a chance.